Hello and welcome. Today we are at Legoland Windsor and we're about to take a half a loop and a tour of the section of the park that was closed last time we came. So we're going to start outside the rebuild the world section. The video that was uploaded just before this one we actually were inside that building and then from the window we spotted that they have added in some new models on the walkway round. So from top to bottom, we are going to start, like I said, just outside the Rebuild the Worlds, which is for their 90th year of play. So you can see all the artwork and everything on this building is completely changed. We'll have a look at the trams, we'll have a look at the models, we'll have then have a look at the Viking River Splash, and we will finish down at the bottom by the Spinning Spiders. So we've got plenty to look at. They were obviously in the process of adding in new models and things last time we came. So the first thing that we are seeing is the tram. So one goes down, one comes up. So it's obviously the, I say the tram, it's their hill the hill carp very very good to get on if you are tired and you can get back up on the way up because it saves you walking up this really steep bit now if you did notice in the tour last time when you first come in you everybody then turns left if you then did turn left you would then get to the station of this and if you kept going you then start walking down the stairs that then splits into two so you can either take the wheelchair push chair access all the way around the one loop or you can then jump down the slides and things if you wanted to and there are some models to have a look at on there right as we come round, we will hunt these new models down so we did spot these like i said in the last video from the window that they've got a cutout piece just to the left hand side and these are some of the new models that they have added so what do you think these are supposed to be because it clearly does say a dragon's nest so they have added in a load of the dragon so this is obviously part of the viking river splash theme because they have a lot of eggs and everything within the queue line of that so maybe over a period of time they will add in some more bits and pieces on this path all the way down to the Viking River Splash as well. But it has always been a bit of an odd one to get to because as you come round, it literally just snakes round and then you've got the entrance to that ride, then you carry on snaking round and then you're at the bottom of the park. So yeah, I always think it's quite nice if they add in more and more models as we go and they have plonked loads of those discover your play type signs all around the park as well. Again, that is a big push for the 90th year of play. You can see they've got this cut out here just to the right hand side so you can see from a slightly different angle the models that we've just had a look at as well so it's always perfect just to try and keep exploring some bits and pieces and also you look around and up in the trees as you go around so you do have a tendency to hide a load of the models now we are in the land of the vikings so this is now where we are coming in and you've got to still loop it round but you can see in the distance you do have the queue line but hopefully maybe just like the left for example where that grass is they might add in some more models and so on and so forth i'm just greedy that way so i'm always always there for the models rather than the rides everybody is completely different so again we will snake around and then we'll have a quick look at the queue line to this one this might catch you out sometimes when the park is very very busy because i have been walking down this way in the past and for some reason everybody just stopped there because the queue to this ride actually was to that point why it was i don't know but don't get caught up in that because you just keep going around and then you walk all the way down but we will have a quick look at this in action now you can see already it's nice and busy the queue line well over an hour i would imagine because if you do come down this way this will be the first thing that you see but i always find it's a little bit more quiet just after lunch and then obviously it picks right back up again when people then start to leave but on the outside you have lots of these massive models to have a look at they are dotted around all the way around the outside and you do have a few different bits and pieces to have a look at with regards to the queue line as well so it's not it's not super boring with regards to the queue line which is always nice it's not like you just sort of stood there and you've got nothing to have a look at they have at, tried to add in some sort of a story and a theme now if you did see it before and how many hours it took to build this dragon it was scary the hundreds of thousands of bricks and the hundred of hours that got put into making this massive red drag you can see it's already 70 minutes whereas all the other rides are only 10 because everybody comes here first this is your river splash and then down to the right hand side this absolutely enormous dragon and i do believe actually that the artwork up in the model making studio that gave us all the information of all the huge models around the park that was actually for the big ice dragon that is in the ride which i think we're about to see now so it's this big blue dragon i think and there was a couple of hundred thousand bricks hundred thousand lego bricks used and i think it was like 150 plus 
hours of time just to get that together. So massive amount of effort that went into that one. But again, if you've not yet caught that video, it is the model making studio video and it has all the information with regards to the history of the Legoland Park, history of the company, and also all of the information with regards to all of the major models, how many bricks were used and the timing that it was used as well. So I always find that really, really interesting. This is extremely steep coming this way, so be super, super careful with your push chairs and everything like that. It has got warning signs up on the way up and down. Remember, this is the fourth different way you can get to the bottom of the park, and it takes you to a completely different section of the park compared to everything else. So as this is at the start, the day was I literally came in, filmed the shop, filmed the rebuild the world section or should I say the model making studio and then I just walk straight down this way we are walking with the crowd because people are obviously still coming into the park this is the back end of the big Ninjago ride now this has a enormous queue line just like all of the others do but as you come round and you are walking this way you can actually see people queuing on the outside so the queue for this one I do believe is quite large as well, but you can see the people just there walking around. That is a bit of the queue line that I do believe actually gets cut off if it is not a massive queue. And as we come around, you can see we have another large queue line to the Spinning Spider. And then just to the right hand side, you've got the picnic spot area. That's a blue sign just there on the right hand side. That is a relatively new ish area that Legoland Windsor has added in where you can sit down and you can just use the grass and just relax a little bit, which is always a which is always a nice touch and a nice thing for them to do. Um, this is not filmed within the school holidays. Some of the schools were still at school at this point it is just a very very lucky dip with Legoland Windsor depending on how busy the park will be depending on what day you come now if you have experienced it over the school summer holidays please let everybody know in the comments below what the queue line lengths were like and just how smoothly all the rides ran because it's always nice to know how the park runs at close to full capacity but guys i am starting to run out of time so as always if you can like and subscribe and all that good stuff that'd be absolutely fantastic but thank you very much for watching you guys take care and hope to catch you in the next one Ta -da.